Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Morning Club. Here's Prince Harry saying hello. I will say good morning with my little spotty cup of tea. Good morning, Leanne. How are you today? Just waiting for a couple of people to join us. So welcome to the Morning Club with myself, Dr. D, Health Entrepreneur. We meet here each Monday and Friday at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and just share. So just share some energy from my world to yours. <clears throat> Hello, beautiful Catherine. How are you this morning? Beautiful Catherine from St. Lawrence. <clears throat> so just let me know when you're here and just put in the chat where you're coming in from. So we're coming to you this morning from the foyer of our beach house. Good morning, sweet Jenna. I'm just going to keep an eye on Harry so that he doesn't run off. Oh, he's over there. Good. <clears throat> so we're at the front foyer here. So when you come online, just come in and say hello. Dear Jenna, good morning, sweet Debbie. How are you, everybody? The morning comes club is back. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice. I have this keep me an eye on Harry let me pan you around and I'll show you the foyer here of our beach house so here behind me is the front door it says beach bar up the top there so it's our front door and let me span you around a very nautical theme here at the beach house We've got crab on the wall so this is a little area that we sit out here most of the time and the ocean is about 60 steps that way and we can hear the ocean from here. Isn't it amazing? <clears throat> so coming to you from Tropical Ball Bay up near Mackay, North Queensland. So just let me know where all you guys are coming in from. And grab yourself a drink of your choice. I've got a little cup of coffee here today. So let me know where you're coming in from. <clears throat> lots of rumbling around today. It's school holidays up here in Queensland and there's a buzz on the beach. There's a buzz on the beach today. That's exciting, isn't it? There's kids down there. There's dogs on leads. <clears throat> Neighbours are home. Got their grandkids. It's also bin day. So the bins are rolling out to the front. Good morning. So just let me know where you're coming in from and what's happening in your world today. Much love to Debbie. She hasn't been feeling very well. So I'll let you know what we've just come off. I've got my, um, actually, my breakfast out here as well. We've got um, oats, fruit and yogurt with some nuts and some dates. Yummy. So after our morning club, we'll be going into breakfast. So this morning we're coming on the back end of Are You Spiritually Healthy workshop retreat on the weekend, which a few of our morning clubbers were there. So welcome. And what an amazing time we did have. So we covered many, many things. Um... So let me just show you what we did cover, where we're letting ourselves down, um, five steps to changing internally, what are we attracting, uh, we did some mystic alpha brain training journey and most of all we went through a checklist, so I love checklists, I don't know about you, good morning sweet Natalie, what we went through, are we disciplined, what areas are we growing in integrity and purity, do we personally develop ourselves daily? Do we meditate daily? Do we devote time to reading? Do we offer a smile to others? Are we being hospitable? Are we um, volunteering our time or supporting a charity? Are we a member of a like-minded small group? How are our relationships with others? Do we have fun in our daily life? Do we have a grateful heart? <clears throat> are you offering forgiveness daily for yourself and others? And do you have a daily routine? <clears throat> so apart from that, we went into five steps to changing internally. So what I thought we'd start today is 30 days of internal change. Does that sound like a good thing? Are you guys be interested in that? Let me know if you're interested in that. <clears throat> Hi, sweet Di Di. Habana is here. Hello. Beautiful Jojo, please excuse my voice. <coughs> Jodie Connell's coming in, Twinnies here, and Jaylee. And good morning, Jaylee, as well. Jaylee is here. Yay, perfect. Awesome, our ghosty jail buddies from Geelong. Yay. 
but I've got lots of awesome people here today. Thank you everyone for joining me. Share a bit of love. Let's get a bit of love going down there. And if you haven't already shared the stream, maybe you can just share that so other people can enjoy the love as well. Beautiful day here in Ball Bay. Yay, look at all the love there. That's perfect. Thanks, guys. So I said, there's a buzz around Ball Bay today. It's school holidays and we've got... Um, Lots of activity happening in the community, which is amazing. So coming in from some accolades from the weekend, um, a few of our attendees say great location. It was a beautiful room and light and fabulous food. Um, fantastic day to refocus myself and redream my plans and replan my dreams. So we were weaving our dreams into our lifestyle. Perfect group environment. We made a great group connection. Lovely food and coffee, absolutely loved it. Real personal growth time, personal growth was achieved and constant personal development. I love that. So the next retreat we have coming up is all about resetting ourselves. So it's how to communicate with others better, communicate with ourselves better, how to rejig our lifestyle to the way we actually want to live it. And where I thought that's on June the 5th, so if you would like to come to that, let me know. It's in Mackay. Um, Grand Ridges Suites. So it's resetting our life. And of course, yours truly is there. I've got a couple of guest speakers as well, so that's exciting. But where I was going with that is silver lining. So do you guys look for signs? I had a really big sign today, and I do follow signs. So silver linings. There's always a time where we don't really, we're not living the life we want to. We're not really where we want to be. I'm just keeping my eye on Harry so it doesn't run off. And, you know, chatting over a cup of coffee as we are, um, what is it in your life that you're not particularly phased about? As in, it's a bit ordinary. So, hi Karen, good morning. Hi Karen out there. So what do you guys think? Is there things in your life you're not really happy with? We always wished it was a bit different. What do you wish in your life that was a bit different? give you some time so you can just put, just put in the chat down there what do you wish you were different I'm going to write that down we can we humans start to wish our life away wish we had said something better in the conversation a couple of days ago you know yours truly is the same wish that sometimes we could sleep in wish that we didn't work so much wish that we had more time wish that we ate a little bit better wish that we didn't overindulge wish that we can see others living their best life and wish that we could live our best life so what do you guys wish for what's the sign that you have been continually missing or ignoring what do you need to change to be happy in your life i've been contemplating this yesterday and i've come up with a few little awesome things Natalie says, I wish I didn't enjoy food so much. Oh, I love it. That's great. <laughs> mm. Well, you know, Nat, I think a lot of us on that one as well. Jay Lee, I'm pretty happy with where I am at my life. I wish to have my license, though. Oh, awesome. So Jay Lee wishes to have her license to get around. And Natalie wishes she wouldn't enjoy alcohol so much either. Interesting. I love it. Thank you for sharing. So, you know, I wish things were different too, but it's all right wishing and acknowledging that the power lies within. What's the silver lining message you're getting out of that? So, Nat, let's go with you. Natalie wished she didn't like food or alcohol so much. So let's have a, a workshop really quickly, guys, about... Natalie's silver lining. So what would the message be? What do you guys think? You know, no judgment, no judgment. We're just going to workshop that Natalie didn't wish she liked food or alcohol so much. So what's the silver lining there and what do we need to change for Natalie to, to live her best life and not wish it was different? So how could that be different? Well, Natalie, let's workshop your own life. How could you be different with that? 
And Sweet Catherine said, absolutely love Saturday me as meeting. Took away a lot. Last night I read your story. Oh, thank you. And I'm enjoying your book. That's amazing. So Sweet Catherine Faulkner from St. Lawrence came up from St. Lawrence. And the reason I identify that is well, with our online business, we have meetings each day. We always hop on and introduce ourselves to say hi to the you know the global community and say hi, Dee from Ball Bay. And um, Leanne say hi, Leanne from the Gold Coast. And Jacinta, hi. Um, from down to, you know, from the location where you live. So when people come on here, I go like, Jojo from Geelong, Natalie from Mackay, Catherine from St. Lawrence. So that's why I say that, just sharing that with you guys. Because we actually spoke about that on the weekend. So Catherine, I'm um, really in love Saturday, which is great. So yeah, are you spiritually healthy? We went uh, into a deep dive of planning our 30, 60, 90 days in a spiritual how to move forward. I love that. We did have a great time. And we ran like two hours over time. It was amazing. So isn't it great when you just don't want something to end? I really like that. This is a sparkling energy into your life, like we're doing now. And Catherine, um, each um, guest of mine on the weekend took my book home with them. So that's The Change Makers' latest publication. And Catherine really enjoyed it. So thank you very much. I'm really glad. So we're workshopping Natalie's life. <laughs> Emotional eating, absolutely. Good morning, Tanya. Tanya Clark, wherever you're coming in from. If you've just joined us, just put in the chat, say hi to everybody and tell us where you're coming in from. So we just join, um, this is the morning club. I'm um, just sitting over a chat, communicating over a cup of coffee, um, delving into a few things, and then we're gonna have a little reading each. So a little bit different, we're changing it up this morning because all my cards are in the head office in town. Hi, beautiful Colleen Stewart. Hi. How are you this morning? Hi, for Tanya. Natalie said, I think my silver lining is that our family time is spent eating and drinking together. I love it. And that's fantastic. I love that. So let's workshop N Natalie's. She wish, we're just going into what's the silver lining of your wishes? As in, we always wish our life was different in some way. You know, we wish we had more energy. We wish we didn't overeat. We just wish we didn't overdrink. We just we didn't be so inactive or weigh so much or um, not happy with our hair or our looks or our lifestyle. Wish we lived on the beach, which we do live on the beach, which is amazing. Bronnie, good morning. Good morning, Bronnie. And good morning, Karen. Thank you all, guys. Karen from Mackay. Hi, sweet Karen. So I noticed a couple of people online too are from our online business, which is amazing. So welcome guys. Sweet Tanya in Cuttable and Karen's in Mackay and Bronnie. Now Bronnie was on the Gold Coast, uh, the sunny coast, sorry, and now in bright Victoria. So Bronnie, we used to go um, with my grandfather on holidays. We're from Melbourne as well um, to bright for redfin fishing in the little creek there. In the waterway, beautiful. Bronnie's Bronnie's amazing. She has just done this big run on the weekend. Well done in in sub zero temperatures, I'm sure. So hi from um, hot sunny Ball Bay in Mackay to cold Bronnie in Victoria. How's the Bronnie's decking out a van so she can travel in? How's your travels, Bronnie? It's freezing here. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going into our silver lining. What signs are around you that you're either ignoring or missing or just wishing were different? So I'm just keeping my eye on Harry here. Prince Harry's 17 and blind. So I'm just keeping an eye on we're out the front of our um, beach house here. So five steps to internal change. I thought we'd do a 30 steps to internal change. So each day I'm going to post on this page, Dr. D Health Entrepreneur, a little step for internal change. And how we can recognize the silver linings that are coming to us every day. So grab yourself a drink of your choice. I've got a cup of coffee here today. We're just having a little conversation in the morning club. So a little bit of zapped energy from me to you. So back to Natalie. Natalie wished she didn't enjoy food and alcohol so much in regards to then she highlighted that um, that she like spending time with her family, which is a goal for her, which they have set up, if you don't mind me sharing that, in her immediate family with her husband and her daughter, um, time weekly as like a family date to prepare food and drink. Great. 
So maybe uh, a healthy mindset and attitude with the food. And I think Catherine suggested emotional eating. So whatever that looks like, we can put in our 30 days steps to um, our relationship with food. How does that sound? Does that sound like a good thing to do? Let's do that as well. I like looking for signs too. So I had, let me share you with you guys my sign today. So um, I was sitting this morning as I do, we go, Harry and I, Prince Harry and I go for a walk on the beach. Yay, share some love. Thanks guys, share some love down here. If you haven't already shared the stream, please do so if you don't mind so other people can share the love too. And I go through my uh, Dalai Lama's Book of Transformation, which we're going to have a reading each out of today. So it's like doing a card. I'm just going to pick something and read it to you. Thank you. Look at all the love. Yay. And my silver lining was listen to my heart more. So when we were walking on the beach, I came over just after sunrise and there was silver everywhere. I went, oh my goodness, this is a sign. This is a silver lining. And then it when my heart little had a palpitation. I have a cardiac issue, but that wasn't it. And it was all about to do the heart center, more heart center meditation. For the next 30 days, I want to do more um, centering with the heart, living from the heart. Things in your life that aren't serving you, let's change that from the heart side of things, which is coming off the back of our wellness retreat on the weekend. And then, would you believe, I got a message from dear Sonia. Now, Sonia is a lady down in Rockhampton, a dear friend who has, among other things, makes jewellery. And I bought a jewellery piece of her and on the bottom of it was a little heart. Now, our business is called Living Lovingly. So I had my little silver heart on my beautiful chain and I lost it. I lost my heart. Handmade heart. So I contacted Sonia previously. I just said, don't worry, I'll get you another one. So this morning when I was sitting down here thinking about living from my heart centre, would you believe Sonia texts me and says, your silver heart is ready. <gasps> oh my goodness. How amazing is that for a silver lining and a sign and the messages? So the next 30 days, guys, the silver lining of your heart centre. Let's do it. So let's do that. Who's in for that? Does that sound like a good thing to do? Let me know what you think. 30 days from today. The silver, love that too. I do as well. Now, if that isn't a sign, I don't know what is. So when we're looking for motivation and inspiration, I know Catherine on the weekend particularly, if I could just use you as an example. Um, and Natalie actually came to the workshop on the weekend wanting inspiration about something. And finding inspiration is actually everywhere. And Catherine had said also in it, to be inspired and motivated to um, adopt the learnings that we did in a group and the energy to then go forth and implement that into her life. We'll need a bit of motivation. And I agree. Yep. I love that idea. Okay, let's do it. So today, 30 days of silver lining, heart-centered internal change. Bit of a mouthful, but I'll figure out a little way of condensing that of course so I think that's a good off the back of that keeping inspired I don't really believe in motivation motivation is like you know, energy you get from a cup of coffee it's short-lived a bit inspired to change is the long-lasting sort of thread of that golden silver lining energy I feel fantastic so let's start so what I'm going to do, instead, I usually have my cards out and we have a card. So it's going to be the same thing. So who would like a little reading today? Let's go straight into that. While we're putting your names down here and getting a little reading, I'll make a list. So I want you to think about what isn't working for you. So if things in your life are not working, so Nat would like a card. Yep. I'm just going to call them a card because that's what it's going to be, a little reading. Nat's first. So we're going to highlight what doesn't serve you. So Jenna, Jenna and Ben, and I'm sure Sue would want one. Colleen, absolutely. Sweet Colleen, Karen. Let me know. Everybody from the morning club, I'm sure everybody online would like one. If there's anybody else, Catherine. So this gives a little bit of love. And Debbie, let me know. 
who else would like a little one so just while we're getting some names there then I'll just go through the list one after one <clears throat> so I want you to think the things that you wish were different and the things that aren't serving you we're gonna let them go today so all the things that you wish were different so it might be you wish your finances were different you might be wishing that your energy levels were different every day um, wishing that you have better sleep at night that's a good one wishing that your relationships with your loved ones were different wishing that your hormones were different all the things that don't serve you I just want you to hold that in your mind while we do this reading because this is going to be a little bit of inspiration so this is your sign that's coming your way today does that make sense good also did you know when you write with colored pencils or textures textures or crayons other than pens that's engaging your right hand side your creative side of the brain as opposed from your left hand side of the brain which is logic do you know that so simply writing with a colored pen on your paper changes you from the logical brain to the alpha brain waves <clears throat> i just love that i just thought i'd share that with you right let's do some cards so i want you to feel and think all the things that you wish were different and the things that aren't serving you all right natalie right natalie so from the dalai lama's book of transformation <clears throat> page 75 i'll just show it to you not that it's going to mean much but i like showing too so from the Buddhist point of view, Natalie, even when you are unenlightened in your life, your life is so intertwined with those of others that you cannot really carve yourself out a single isolated individual. Also, when you follow a spiritual path, many spiritual realizations depends on your interaction with others. Oh, I love that. So maybe take today... Natalie, your silver lining, which I love it, um, this is your sign, that your unenlightened portions of your life are intertwined with others that you can't really carve out an isolated point for yourself of what to do. So many spiritual realisations follow a path when you interact, interact with others. Does that make sense? I really love that. Let's give Natalie a little bit of a clap for that especially when she was talking about her food and health in regards to her family life I think that's amazingly poignant Natalie perfect right sweet Jenna let's do a pick a random page for Jenna page 142 we've got a little saying here beautiful thanks for all the love guys yay Jenna I hope people admire what I'm doing Oh, I love it. So Jenna, you're wishing things were different and your silver lining and your sign today that you hope that people admire what you're doing. So let's give Jenna a little pat on the back and admiration as Jenna needs that. I love it. Now, Jenna, expecting to receive praise for all the great and effort you do will actually let go of your mundane concerns. So if nothing else, praise yourself. I love that. It's very important to ensure that the practice is pure. So when you want admiration from others and expect it, celebrate your own win first. I love that. Absolutely perfect, great. I love that, fantastic. And one for Ben. Let's go to the very beginning of the book for men. For Ben. So number 17. He's got a one-liner. <clears throat> so Shamantha. So let me just tell you what that is. It's a meditation from the point of view of physical objectivity. So tranquil abiding with the Shamantha. So visualization what well, that comes down to so ben will receive more tranquility by visualizing the outcome he desires a single pointed meditation 
So whatever Ben needs, he's to visualise the, the outcome. So pretend he's living the outcome. <coughs> so Jenna said his signs are normally short and straight to the point. Absolutely. Well, that's perfect. I'll go with that. Yeah, we're good. <coughs> Excuse me. As I say, I'm struggling with my voice today. And he will be from a, a single point of view too. Oh, I love that. That's fine. Perfect. So that's more of an acknowledgement, I think. So don't expect anything too fluffy and wild from Ben. Just very straight to the point. You know, single-minded as in a single point of objectivity. <clears throat> so just go with that. I love that. Sue, Sue McNamara. Let's do one for Sue. Page 44 for Sue. She says, Dear friends and close relatives and so on, in regards to our mother is simply taking an example, isn't it? Because this is um, Jenna's mum. Mother is simply taken as an example, but the point should learn that the view is of a sentinel being from our heart. I love that. So as a mother, her dear friends and relatives come from one major categorised to the heart. I love that. So I'll just reread that. Dear friends and close relatives and so on. Our mother is simply taken as an example. But the point that we should learn is from the point of view of a sentinel that is dear and close to our hearts. Yep, I love that too. I think that's amazing as well. Right, Colleen. Colleen Stewart. Here we go. Beautiful Colleen. Love to race this morning as well. <clears throat> now, Colleen. Oh, I like this. You've got a big page, Colleen. 106. Colleen, so your silver lining and getting to the point that um, of what doesn't serve you. So, Colleen, whenever I interact with someone, may I view myself on a linear plane and from the depths of your heart respectfully hold others and yourself as a superior i like that so what that is saying is when you interact with others you're all on the same plane and then elevate all of you to a superior plane from your heart center oh i love that that's beautiful karen this is for you Let's go, oh, I like this. This is a big one for Karen. Let's read this one. So I'll just read Kelly and Adrian on the bottom of that. Kelly and Adrian, sure. So Karen, this is for you, sweet Karen. Page 52 of Dalai Lama's Book of Transformation. When we practice deve developing equanimity, sometimes it's helpful to use visualization, Karen. For example, you can imagine three different individuals in front of you. Someone who is very close to you, someone you regard as an enemy and whom you dislike, and then someone who is completely neutral to whom you feel indifferent. Then let your natural emotions then arise in relation to these three individuals. Once you are able to allow your natural feelings to arise, you will notice that towards the loved one you feel a sense of closeness and attachment Towards a person you dislike, you will feel hostility and the sense of distance. And towards the individual who's neutral, you will feel, hardly feel an emotion at all. Oh, I love that. So this is a keep your emotions in check. I love that one too. What does everyone think of that? I hope that um, resonates with you a little bit, Karen. So maybe your emotional reactiveness, you can put into three categories. Does it serve me? Am I loving this situation or am I really hating this situation? And direct your heart-centered silver lining from the point, from that, that standpoint. Actually, I really like that one for myself. <laughs> I might take that one, Karen. Perfect, that was for Karen. I hope that resonates with you, Karen. Right, what are we, Catherine from St. Lawrence? Let's have a look here. Here we go, 100. This is about your main path. I like this. So in the development of Bonicitta, this is the core of the Buddha's teaching in the main path. 
Once the development of the main path is taking place, the practitioner, which is you, endeavours to apply altruistic principle throughout your life. This leads to the six perfections. Oh, I like that. Catherine, do you know what the six perfections are? Well, I'm just going to write that down. We might go through that. Would you like to do the six perfections in another morning club, everybody? So I'd write that one down, Catherine, and we'll we'll come back to that one. I like it. I love it. So let me just tell you what they are, and we'll go through this at a later. Maybe we can do a special little morning club for the six perfections. So the six perfections are generosity, morality, patience, enthusiasm, meditation, or concentration, and wisdom. So what this is saying to you, Catherine, is with the core of your main path, so I remember we were speaking on the weekend about where you're going and what you're doing. So to establish a main path, this is very poignant for you, Catherine. When you apply these six perfections, your altruistic principle will then resonate through your life. So start living with generosity, morality, patience, enthusiasm, enthusiasm, concentration and wisdom. I love that. I really love that. That's amazing. So let's actually do that one of those on the morning club. So Catherine was saying, I took away an awakening to move forward and realisation that other people are on have similar problems. Absolutely. Maybe my silver lining on the weekend and meeting new people was being inspired. Absolutely. I agree. Fantastic. Let's I'm just gonna screenshot this. Let's I really love that. So I think this is actually resonates with everybody. So the six perfections. <clears throat> so living from the, the silver lining, being inspired to have a little bit of the six perfections in every daily, each of our daily lives, each day of our lives. There you go. I love it. Right. Debbie. <clears throat> Let's all be inspired from that. I love that. Let's have a little drink of your choice. I've got a little ginger tea on the go inside too. So I'm celebrating out here with a cup of coffee and ginger tea in there. Right, Debbie, here we go. Page 152 for Debbie. And Catherine said she's listening. I love it. Yep, good. Let's listen. Oh, I love this. Debbie, the eight verses on transforming the mind. Oh, we've got the whistling ducks here. Let me just show the ducks have arrived. Can you see them? Look at them all over there. Aren't they cute? They come, I feed them oats, and then they poop on the porch. That's okay. So the ducks have arrived. They're going to talk to us. So Debbie, the eight verses of transforming the mind. Debbie, with the determination to achieve at the highest aim for the benefit of all sentinel beings. So for the benefit of everybody, your determination to aim high. Which surpasses even every wish. Oh, how fun is that? We're, we're talking about wishing for a better life this morning. May you hold them dear to your heart. So finding the little gems. It actually says that. So I don't know if you can see that. I, I might, I'll might. i leave that 152 for Debbie. I'll screenshot that and send that to you. That's amazing. And Catherine will do yours as well. Okay, so my, I've got a little saying <clears throat> that keeps me going every day. Find the little gems within each day. So aim to be a high achiever and hold all the gems dear to your heart. Oh, Bronnie's got to go. Okay, Bronnie, I'll do a quick one for you, Bron. Here we go. Is she still here? A wish to free all beings, Bronnie. I shall always go for the refuge of enlightenment. I love that. That's for you, Bronnie. Thanks for being with us, Bron. I'll send that to you as well. That's for Bron. Yay. Thanks, guys. You're welcome, Catherine. No worries. <clears throat> and Debbie, uh, Kelly, and, Kelly and Adrian. Let's do one for Kelly and Adrian. Transforming through altruism. 
Transformation. Debbie loves that. I love that too. All right. So for Kelly and Adrian, the ornament of realization. So there are two aspects for altruism. The first is the condition that produces the altruistic look and then the compassion. So for Kelly and Adrian, the condition and the compassion. So for attaining peace and enlightenment, <clears throat> you have to benefit others. I hope that makes sense for Kelly and Adrian. So, so their own condition and compassion and enlightenment for others. So when you encourage the fulfillment and the wishes of others, you fulfill your own interest at the same time as a byproduct. So that's Kelly and Adrian too. Which I think quite that's quite poignant for Kelly at the moment too. So when they're fulfilling the wishes of others, they will add to their own interest will be fulfilled as a byproduct. I love it. Jojo, do you want one? Let's see Jody and Jay Lee. <clears throat> so Jojo, this is for you. So exchanging and equalizing oneself and others. We will now turn to the other method of transforming the mind, which is the exchanging and equalizing oneself with others. Here again, the first state of cultivation of equanimity, although the meaning of equanimity is in the context of different, as we spoke earlier. So be happy and overcome the suffering. That's all. Mic drop. <laughs> I love that. Oh, the ducks are in the pond. So be, ha be happy and overcome your own suffering. I love that. Is there anybody else online who would like a little reading this morning? Let me know what's happening. So I like a little page has actually fallen out of the book. How strange is that? So let me read from that page. The key to transforming our hearts and our minds is to have an understanding of the way our thoughts and emotions work. I want us to sit with this today. We need to learn how to identify the opposing sides of our inner conflict. With anger, for example, we need to see how destructive anger is and at the same time realise that there are antidotes within our own thoughts and emotions that we can use to counteract it. I love that. So the key to transforming our hearts and minds is to have an understanding of the way our thoughts and emotions work. So with every destructive thought or any thought that doesn't serve us, as we're talking about today, the sign is there is also an equalising one inside us that we need to put into action to counteract that. I think that's fantastic. So give us a bit of love. What do you all think about that, guys? The ducks are having a bath. What does everyone think about that? Just put a couple of comments down in the little comment bar and give us a bit of love. Harry's ready to go inside for a drink, I think. You ready to go inside for a drink? Yeah. So thank you everybody for being involved in the morning club today. What does everybody think of the little reading today? Is that helpful? Let me have a look at the comments. Have I missed anybody? Love to everybody today. Everybody have a sparkling day. Stay safe on the school holiday roads. I can't see any comments coming through. So just give us a bit of love. My screen might have frozen. So thank you for joining me on the Morning Club today. Wonderful to have you here at the beautiful beach house at Ball Bay. I'm going to settle into a little bite of breakfast before I get to start the work day here. And then Harry and I are going to go for a swim. We're going to go swim in the beach today. How wonderful. So wishing you all mwah, wonder, a wonderful day. Love and blessings to everybody. Everybody have a sparkling day. If you have any comments, just put them in and I'll go through it after when I post this up. And let's get ready for our 30 days of internal change. Embracing the silver lining and looking for the signs in every day. I don't remember going to 
just celebrate the gems with every day too. Everybody have a marvellous day. Mwah. Have a sparkling one. Dr D Health Entrepreneur signing out and we'll see you on Friday 8.30am and look every day on the uh, Dr D Health Entrepreneur page. Our 30 days of internal change starts right here. Bye guys. Oh Karen, really quickly, Bobay is a wonderful place in the world. Absolutely. Have a sparkling day too. Fantastic. It sure is. Lovely. Blessed to live here. So very grateful. Bye guys.